This is what makes this football club so special. Welcome to the Budapest Airport. It's 4.30 a.m. guys, 1st of June 2023. The Europa League final in Budapest finished four and a half hours ago. And now I'm heading to watch Glasgow Celtic again for the Scottish Cup final. The game starts in more than two days, but the flights are today. And I was at the Europa League final with my Swedish friend. Uh, did you enjoy it? Yes, sir. He's like almost like, he's, he's almost asleep. And uh, we are feeling very well. Yeah, yeah. what's your next game? Uh, Malmö Day, of course, on uh, Monday. Oh yeah, he's a, a Malmö supporter. And what's your score prediction for Celtic Inverness? 4-1 uh, Celtic. What did we see on the Budapest airport when sitting down for um, <laughs> for breakfast? Celtic. It's it's a Celtic jersey. You're gonna fly over from Belfast at the cup final for Sunday. Yep. What's your prediction? How how is the game going to go? And Celtic are facing Inverness, who are a second tier club, and are on track for the treble. I'm very confident going over, of course. You know, for the eighth treble now, this will be if we win. Um, I'm gonna go four 0 Celtic. Farashi two, Kyogo two. Hatate won, and we'll go McGregor one as well. And we're in Glasgow now, two days later, cup final day. It's lovely to film my preview in front of this Henry Clarkson Celtic legend picture. Celtic hold the record for the most Scottish Cup wins, 40, it could be 41 today. Inverness Calaiteso won it once before in 2015, and they beat Celtic in the semi-final 3-2. So, their fans are hoping for a second title, however, the odds are really massive for them to win. They finished sixth in the Scottish Championship, the second tier this year, and Celtic won their second league title in a row. Fair play to Inverness for reaching the final as a second tier team. They beat first tier teams along the way, and Celtic also, obviously, and most notably Rangers in the semi-final. There are loads of things going on around the club, and especially the question of their current head coach, Anj Postacoglu. He's adored by Celtic fans, but he's linked with Tottenham and we still don't know whether he's gonna go or not. We'll ask the fans about it. This was his second season as a Celtic manager. He won two league titles and two league cup titles. He could win his first Scottish Cup today, completing the domestic treble for Celtic. That would be a historical eighth domestic treble, which would mean a world record. So there's really much at stake for Celtic today, but they are also clear favorites like by far, so it, it would rock the news if uh, Inverness would actually win today. We're gonna head to Hamden Park, which is the National Stadium of Scotland venue of all semi-finals and finals in Cup, League Cup. But before that, we're gonna head to Glasgow Green, where all the Celtic fans gather. Let's go. Almost there, it's a beautiful weather in Glasgow today. It's like five times in a year, something really, really unusual. <laughs> Arrived at the gathering area, Three hours and a half till kickoff. This is where everything starts for the Hoops fans. Oh, look at that. They know the way of enjoying themselves. I have Max here as a channel, Football Mad. You can find it in the description. I'm going to ask him some questions regarding the game. What's your score prediction and who will score the goals? So I'm going to go for a 3-0 victory for Celtic today. I think Jota, Kyogo and I will go with Callum McGregor with the third goal for Celtic today. The score is going to be 4-0 to Celtic. Um, Kyogo is going to score one. Then it's going to be McGregor. And then it's going to be Jota. And then Rio Hattasi. I think it will be 3-0 Celtic and I think Jota will score a hat-trick. It will be 4-0. Uh, Jota won, Kyogo three at the start. 3-1 and I think Jota and Kyogo. 3-0 Celtic or it's going to be a walkover. Kyogo, O'Reilly and maybe Starfield. Are you a season ticket holder at Celtic Park? No, but my dad is. Who's your favourite player? My favourite player is Jota. What would it mean to get the historical eighth treble? It would feel absolutely amazing. Today's a beautiful day here in Glasgow. It's about 25 degrees, so it's really, really hot and I think a treble for Celtic today would be absolutely amazing. As you can see, we're in Merchant City. It's a big party here before the game, so it's going to be brilliant if we win. Thoughts on Ange? I hope he stays.
We're at the main entrance of Hunnam Park. The Celtic March was great, but the twist is that I have a ticket to the Inverness end today. So I'm not wearing any colors, but it's gonna be great there. <laughs> How much chance do you give Inverness today? Well, I think it's going to be a very difficult game. Obviously, they're champions of Scotland. Um, we're in the league below them. But, uh, you know, we have a fighting chance, I would say. But, obviously, most people are predicting Celtic will win. What would you predict? Well, I hope that uh, Inverness will win. But, I think, realistically, I think Celtic will win. Score? I think, um, well, my heart says 2-1 to Cali. Realistically, I would imagine 3-0, maybe to Celtic. Yeah. If it's Ivan Dukali, who are the goal scorers? Well, Billy Mackay, obviously, is a very good uh, goal scorer. Um, really clinical inside the box. And maybe one from a corner, one of the taller lads, centre-back, maybe Danny Devine, let's say. What would it mean for you to have the Scottish Cup back in the Highlands? Well, we've only won it once before, so it would be, um, it would be a real honour to have the Scottish Cup. We're such a young club, we're only about 25, 26 years old we've already won it once before and um, so yeah it would be excellent but we've got a great record in the Scottish Cup being in the semi-final three or four times quarterfinals eight times in the last ten years so you know they're punching above their weight we'll say from here are going to be amazing whoever scores Incredible atmosphere, getting goosebumps as always in a final at Hamden Park. On to victory once more for the Celtic people, brilliant. Look really great from here, from the Inverness end. And the huddle, pulled by the Inverness fans. The Celtic fans screaming. Oh God, can you hear the noise? Incredible.
set on target in the game. We had to wait 36 minutes. Celtic lead from the second shot on target. Kyogo from close in. <laughs> Until Kyogo's goal in the 38th minute, Inverness actually defended pretty well. They always managed to stick a leg in, but then. <laughs> Funny enough, I missed the goal because I was filming the Inverness fans, shame on me. It was, I think, the second shot on, uh, on target from Celtic. But obviously, from that close in, played out well. It was an easy task for Kyogo to put it into the back of the net. We carry on from 1-0. The crazy limbs again this time. I caught the goal, guys. Yeah, Labada subbed in at halftime. <laughs> Free kick at the halfway line, taken quickly. That's the specialty of Celtic. Awesome, awesome. Just enjoy the noise these Hoops fans make. In 67, not in the heat of Lisbon, but in the heat of Glasgow, certainly they can become champions once again. I mean, the trouble for the eighth time, they're really close to that.
against all the old guys. Inverness find the back of the net in the 85th minute and they serve some minutes that make the last minutes enjoyable. quickly to make it back on time for the presentation of Celtic's trouble. Treble, not trouble, well, whatever. <laughs>
called the team buses. We're on our way to Celtic Park to enjoy the travel celebrations. All right, look at that. Guys, how was the game for you? Hey, good. 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 The celebration so far? Good. Good. Eighth treble. Anything about that? Fucking lovely. Fucking lovely. Favorite player of Celtic? One Celtic player, past or present, who had won a complete set of domestic trophies, both in Scotland and in England. That man was Kenny Dalglish. But we now have two, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Hart! 16 Hamden finals that Carlo's been involved in as a player, and he's won every single one of them. This is what makes this football club so special. We've had support like we could never ever have imagined through all of it. And tonight we celebrate as treble winners again. Okay, at this point I'm through a night of video editing, so excuse me for my tired face. It was an incredible day, we all built up the march, the celebration, historical for Celtic and all I can say is that I'm honored to experience it with the supporters. It wasn't the best game, but we saw four goals. The outcome was never in doubt, really. When I came to visit Celtic for the first time, I had barely any knowledge about the club. It's quite different now since I've done an extensive research during my studies about Celtic. When visiting a club like Celtic, you must have a deeper understanding. And knowing the true meaning behind songs like Let the People Sing, The Fields of Athenry, This Land is Your Land, just makes it the complete experience. The club's roots lie in one of the biggest tragedies of the 19th century and that's the reason for the incredible atmosphere. And to become a greatness like this, a club, a social representation, researching about it was quite interesting for me. I hope you like the content guys, if so join me on Instagram and on Twitter. Special thanks for the interviews everyone. I was HFV, see you in the next one. Congrats for the trouble to Celtic. Goodbye.